Hello and welcome back to episode 7 of the MHC for December and I left you all here and I was right by these horses and I had a fishing rod in my hand and I, hmm, I suppose I'd better carry on with what I was intending to do which is at least fish a couple of fish out of here but I've been thinking about things in the meantime about what's the best way to progress from here and I'm not so sure that, um, oh I've got another one of those puffer fish, I'm not sure that really getting on a horse is really a good idea. I've seen too many people try and have not the greatest results. It's really laggy and you just don't make enough progress. There's too many trees and everything in the way. So I think what I will do is just come down from here after I've got a couple of fish. I really need to get more food. I think my food supplies are getting seriously low. Uh, mushroom stew. I haven't killed my animal yet for the uh, Christmas feast. That's something I must remember to do. And then I think I've also got to try to unwind the... Um, the, the what do you call it? The distance, the distance that I've gone off to the south. Is that oh, if a, a flying fish? Ah, I think that's the reason for that one. That's landed down beneath me. Right. Okay. Well, I will. I'll call that a day for fishing. No, the the salmon, wherever it's gone, will be my only. Where has my salmon gone? Oh, I didn't want the puffer fish either, really. It's going to be no use. So where did my salmon go? Have I picked it up and just not noticed it? Hmm. Cheaty game. I'm wasting time now anyway. That just vanished. Didn't somebody else have one where a fish totally vanished? Well, looks like I'm suffering from the same thing. Right, well I need to head this direction. Let's get going. I need to head northeast rather than directly east. So, do I have blocks in my bar? Just a few. Come on. There we go. Right, there's a little patch which I dare say we've already seen in other people's videos. I'm under no illusions. I'm not going to um, win this race by either just running on the overworld. I don't think I can legitimately go to the nether now. I just aim to finish the race. If I can be still alive, ooh, he says, about to hurt himself, if I can be still alive at the end of day nine, I will count that as a victory. What is that mountain? That's, um, <laughs> that should be named, that now mountain. Right, I must concentrate. What am I up to? Do I kill a pig? Is that my Christmas food? Um, do I collect a few more mushies while I'm here, I think, just so I can make sure that I'm constantly keeping my food supplies up. But it's the red mushrooms that I'm going to be lacking. Right, I need to eat another one. It's really getting getting through the food supplies. So I've got 12 and 25 of the different types of mushrooms. So it's red mushrooms that I really need. It would be good if I ran into yet another of those um, dark oak forests because I'm sure the red mushrooms there are extremely visible and I'd be able to grab a whole one and that would be the red mushroom situation well sorted out. Okay, sheep ears, hi sheep ears. Right, oh, 
Have we got a piece of water that I could sail through here? Maybe. Oh, hello, zombs. Does the, a lot of zombies, does that mean... Look, is this really worth it? Is it worth... I can hear a lot of zombies. This could be a terrible waste of time. Ooh, hello guys. I think it's just a cave of them, isn't it? There's so many of them. Could it actually be... any evidence of a spawner. That's the thing. Got three zombies, but they could just have been naturally occurring, couldn't they? Uh-huh. Their mates are coming around and joining in. Hmm. It certainly looks interesting, doesn't it? I wonder if I'm wasting an awful lot of time doing this. Ah, the sound of zombies. Thanks, guys. Now, if it's all gone totally quiet... Mm -hmm. Then this might be a total waste of time. Hi guys. There's another one. This is this is certainly making me think. Mm, I don't know. Maybe there's not enough of them. Maybe it's not a spawner. I really don't know. Uh, I think I'm I'm wasting too much time in the race. I've just got to move. It's a shame. It's a little aside, but I've got to make some progress. Right, there's a cow up ahead, I think. Um, that's going to be called lunch. Which of you did I see first? You, you want to be the one. What? What happened? What, what actually happened there? Was that... Ah, I got three raw steaks and a piece of leather, even. But since I've got no diamonds, there's obviously going to be no opportunity for me to um, make a book and make an enchanting table. That was another possibility. Just an outside possibility was that I could have uh, gone to the nether without any means of returning, but found more of the diamonds in in the nether, in a, a um, chest in the nether fortresses. That, that would be handy, but I think it's too much of a risk. It's just not going to happen now. So, we'll carry on as we were. Uh, I've got too many odd things that I really don't need. Let's, let's say I, I no longer need sugar cane. It's just not going to happen. So let's sail. Is it coming down to sunset? It is. So it's a good time in a way to be out at sea. But I know that it is sure to mean that I'm going to be making land during the night. And that isn't a good thing. It's always the case that as you come up towards the land you see the mobs are there in a welcoming committee just waiting for you on the shore. And of course you wouldn't get that in the daytime. Right, I can carry on trying to unwind that sort of five or six hundred blocks to the south that I uh, managed to put on the on my distance, on my coordinates. So I'm uh, halfway unwound on that as night falls. Ooh, boat stopping and starting in a strange fashion. I'm sure that's just chunks loading up ahead. So... 
how far do I think I'll go in this whole challenge? Well, it'd be really nice if I managed to reach 15,000 today. That would be excellent. And in fact, impossible, I think. <laughs> Unless this ocean just goes on the whole way and lets me sail up to 15,000. Um, I mean, reaching 20,000 in the whole nine episodes would seem to be achievable now, purely by running over Overworld. Uh, I haven't been to the Nether. Um, I would have liked to. I think that um, what, what some people are doing in, in going to the Nether and making their way dangerously through the the different uh, terrain could add up to really interesting videos. Um, I would have liked to have had a go at that, take on a few nether fortresses, but I think my diamond finding skills are just that awful that I didn't even didn't even get one, and so I gave up on that. I was wasting far too much time, and I decided it had to be the the straightforward overworld dash. Let's get out there and run. Now, of course, it's added a few interesting nighttime experiences where I've been running across through the trees. There's an awful lot of trees on this map. Trees and ocean, it seems to be. <laughs> That's the kind of welcoming committee that I was talking about. It's each time you go past a piece of land in the night, as you approach, the mobs have got a chance to spawn ahead of you. Double creepers. Yum. But this is a good stretch of ocean, isn't it? I, th I think I've seen some people already go across this same stretch. Um, what have I heard about? Up ahead, people have been mentioning those who are doing really well in the overworld dashes. They've got up to like 18,000 plus, and it's uh, ice planes up, at, up there, more or less like where we started the whole thing. Um, we no, don't think anybody has seen any of the warmer climate biomes, so we haven't seen any jungles or savannas as yet. Um, here we go, I'm just now, now I've got a real hope that I can, maybe I can go back a little to the south and get round this headland. Look at all these. It's annoying when you can actually see just a couple of oh, red mushrooms. I thought I hit that squid, even though it wasn't really there. I could see a few red mushrooms in amongst the trees there, but it's not really worth the risk of diving in there and grabbing them. Okay, well I didn't set a timer at all on this uh, this episode, but since I'm out in the open at night, I should be able to see when. Uh, when the morning comes and I'll keep an eye out for my day 6 ticking over to day 7 that's in the Minecraft days of, of course which start with day 0 the surefire mark of a, an old school programmer is that they start their counting from 0 not like normal people look at him eh? is he worth taking on? A butter zombie. Butter skelly, actually. Butter skelly. Right. Okay, I'm thinking this is where the land is going to close me in. So I'll have to start doing, getting my running shoes on. Actually, before I land, let's put another food on my bar. Dogs would have been another interesting thing. That would have been nice. Oh, I've seen someone go to this one. Flower forest. Is that really? Boat broke anyway. Huh. Right, through the woods we go. Through the flower forest, skipping through the trees. I will take a word from Michael and others and say it's not always the best tactic hi spideys, ooh it's not always the best tactic to actually stop and fight these mobs just just keep progressing 
and get away from them. Oh, what beautiful forest this one is. Okay, slightly hungry. Haven't regained that small damage that I took. One of my worst failings is not noticing when I'm down on hunger and I'm therefore not uh, healing. Shush, Nikos. Wow, that's, that was painful. surprising and sudden, but um, I've survived it. I think I possibly took it a little bit too much to heart that I, I'd said I wasn't going to be uh, fi stopping and fighting the mobs. It's, um, sometimes you just have to get rid of them. Right, okay. So we're, I'm, I'm gradually worming my way out towards um, the south again. Hi doggies, please come with me and kill all the skellies. Now these woods, he says, but just before dying, um, these woods are much better to negotiate because they're, um, they tend to be much more open and you can see things between the trees and you can make your own path between the trees much more easily. Ooh. See what happens? You talk about it and then... Ouch! Ooh, I'm getting really hungry again. That isn't good. I think I will just hop up on a treetop for a moment. Food. Ouch! Right, let's let's try a different place. Right here. Right. Just need a moment to think. Think quietly to myself. Right. Okay. You've got bowls. I can make more food. Oh, what happened? Where'd it go? There it is. Well, you know, all fingers and thumbs now. Right, let's nosh these down. Good. Okay, we're getting near morning again. Let's, uh... I'm not far away from achieving that goal of, um... 15,000, am I? That would have been... Very nice. But I don't think I'll quite do it. Ooh, hello, creepy. Wow. Have I got another boat on me? That's fine sight as the sun begins to rise. Get across here. Oh, no welcoming committee on this side. Oh, boat. Thank you, boat. Right. So I really want to veer kind of that way. Again. Get myself back onto a zero Z coordinate again. Oh. Hi, rabbits. And over here, and we're still on day six, but what we need is for it to tick round to day seven, which will really mean... There it is, it's ticked round to day seven. That was what we were waiting for. So, this is going to be where I finish off, just up in this nice little alcove. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. Please come back next time to see how I manage with only two episodes remaining in the series. So, thank you very much and goodbye.